to the centre circle to get involved in the game and plays a lovely ball out to the left-hand side. Sorensen's in space. He's level with the Cardiff penalty area. He brings it into the box now, does Jacob Sorensen. Plays it across to Campbell, who's got a shooting opportunity. It's deflected and it will roll wide. That was one of those where, well, it could have gone anywhere. Campbell tried to put it to the goalkeeper's left. That's the way the goalkeeper went. keeps it alive, he finds Buendia, who will angle the ball into the penalty area from the right, McLean's header, oh, just wide! That was a lovely move from Norwich, real urgency and great movement there from Vrancic and McLean to get themselves in positions where they uh, could be found. Played forward now by Morrison to Glatzel, the German striker, who heads it down to Joe Rawls, who, uh, his control lets him down and McLean's able to steal it from him. Bring it out towards the left, quick touch from Puki on to Campwell, who slides it on to Vrancic, back to Campwell. Norwich City finding their stride here, Campwell into the penalty area, can Puki get there ahead of the goalkeeper? Not quite. The defender came across as well, and it's been put behind for a corner. That was a lovely, enticing ball from Campwell in behind the Cardiff defence. And uh, it was panic stations at the back, actually Cunningham did well to get there before the goalkeeper and Puki to put it behind for a corner. But they haven't earned the breakthrough yet. But here's Campwell, who's really starting to come into this game now. And he rolls the ball into the penalty area for Puki! Oh, across the face of goal and wide. Todd Campwell, his movement is uh, the key for Norwich at the moment. That's twice in the space of a minute. But Campwell's found room and played lovely balls into the penalty area. Puki to the right of goal, the angle against him. But we've seen him score from there before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's Puki's range, isn't it? That's that have everybody back around the penalty area to try and deal with this. Harry Wilson's good from them. He's put the set-piece in. There's a header straight out, McGovern. Uh, now, they're appealing that this has crossed the line, uh, the, uh, the Cardiff players, as McGovern grabs it. But, of course, they have the, the goal-line technology, so that shouldn't be in doubt. But it was a header on target. Here's McLean for Norwich City, finds Buendia, 25 yards out, Buendia to the edge of the penalty, shoots low into the net! There's no stopping Emi Buendia at the moment, that is a simple goal. For once he was given space by the Cardiff defence, he hit it from the edge of the penalty area, it skimmed beyond the goalkeeper and into the net, that's five goals in seven games for Emi Buendia, who's a man in form, it's the breakthrough, it's Norwich 1, Cardiff 0. Yeah, a terrific finish, it just it just seemed to open up for him and, and he was prepared to, 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 to sort of take the space being offered to him, a, a really good first touch into the space and, and nobody came out to him and, and he was able to essentially what looked like a side foot into the bottom corner. Terrific finish. Come on, still got it. Here we go, free kick, long way out. Sorensen is there as well. It's actually Sorensen who takes it and puts it straight at the goalkeeper. Everyone was looking at Vrancic. And I noticed it was Sorensen who placed the ball and uh, he was looking for another Carrow Road goal. Got one here against Nottingham Forest. As far as Wilson, who puts it straight back in the danger zone, header from Morrison, brilliant save from McGovern, and then the rebound is, uh, is wide, but it would have been offside anyway. That is some save from Michael McGovern. They actually dealt with the first set piece really well, Norwich City. It was put back in by Wilson. The danger man Morrison got to it, and McGovern, who's now got a black baseball cap on, managed to pluck that one almost, uh, uh, claw it away from crossing the line. Great save from Michael uh, McGovern. Unbelievable. I mean, so as soon as the corners come across, and um, the ball's come back in. I'm, I'm looking at the centre half, and he's in acres, and he's got a free header. Nelson's headed it away. Only as far as Gwendia. Lovely ball from Gwendia to Campbell in the penalty area. Campbell! Oh, his shot is blocked in the six yard box by a defender and headed behind, and Norwich will have a corner. Todd Campbell hasn't scored a league goal since New Year's Day, and it opened up for him there nicely, but he just couldn't take the chance. Slight error made there by Bakuna, and the ball has bounced for Puki, and Puki's in on goal here. He tries to put it over the oh. goalkeeper and over the... Uh, or just wide of the post as well. Opened up again just suddenly there for Norwich, didn't it? One poor touch from, from Cardiff, and Puki was in. It was a difficult chance, though. It was, it was. And, and to be fair, I mean, I looked at the keeper, and, and I wasn't expecting the, the chip. He's missed the target. It'd be, be interesting to see if it was on target. The keeper looked like he was struggling a little bit. Yeah, I think he was. Um, again... Bringing it forward with confidence for Norwich City. Finds Puki on the edge of the Cardiff penalty area. Puki shoots from the angle and it's deflected through to the goalkeeper.
Skip controls it well on the edge of the area, slides a lovely pass into the path of Cantwell, who races away over halfway, and Norwich could be in here on the counter-attack. Cantwell gives it to Puki, back to Todd Cantwell, on the edge of the Cardiff penalty area, spots the pass onto Buendia, in the area, Buendia gives the chance to Vrancic, who strokes it wide, oh, Vrancic knows he should have done better there, went for a side foot pass into the corner of the net, but got his uh, radar wrong and has put it wide. Wins the ball brilliantly on halfway against Pack and sends Puki away. And again, Norwich have got men over here. Uh, Puki gives it to Buendia, who shoots low, and the goalkeeper turns it aside and makes a save. Norwich are getting so much joy on the counter-attack here. They're opening Cardiff up time after time, and they've had many more chances in the second half than they did in the first, but they just cannot put them no. away. Good save there by the goalie. on the edge of the area, but then he's won it straight back. Great from Brancic, such hard work. Brings it up to the edge of the area. He's going to go for goal himself, but it fizzes wide. And there's no deflection. It's another chance Norwich have had to go two up. Yeah, yeah, and um, y you just feel that we need to take one of these um, these chances so that we, we take a bit of pressure off ourselves, but it is, it's still really, really open. Cardiff have got nothing to lose by throwing everything forward. They want to get themselves back in this game. Dia has got Cardiff players around him, but he's managed to find the pass through to Campwell from the edge of the area. Campwell hits oh, one into yes. the net. That is a great goal from Todd Campwell. He's arrived in the championship party now for Norwich City. A brilliant finish. His first league goal since New Year's Day, and it could not have been more emphatic. He belted that in from 20 yards, and Norwich City have uh, some comfort now. They lead Cardiff by two goals to nil, and Campwell dances in front of the Norwich City fans. Yeah, yeah, and again, terrific finish. It, it sort of opened up for him similarly the, the, um, to Buendia's goal. Uh, a little bit of a different angle, and Campbell's gone the other side um, with uh, a well-placed but powerful shot, and keeper beating all ends up. Steepman, first touch, gets it to Kempwell in the penalty area. Kempwell ships it on, gets it back, and the shot is going to come in here! Oh. Just wide from Buendia. That was a great opportunity. Again, they opened Cardiff up. High fives between Kempwell and Buendia, who walked through the defence there. I thought Buendia was going to score. Norwich have had so many chances in this game, haven't they?